Alright. Hello and welcome sports fans to this live video streaming event from Table Rock Sports Productions in partnership with our local school districts and our outstanding sponsors who make these live presentations possible for you fans to enjoy. I'm Joseph Brett alongside Colton Treadway on camera for me this afternoon coming to you live from Harry and David Field, home of the South Medford Panthers here in Medford, Oregon, and we thank you for joining us on this afternoon's broadcast. We welcome you to the Lithia Superstore pregame show powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. Today featuring the visiting Glencoe Crimson Tide taking on your South Medford Panthers. We're pleased to bring you this game on Table Rock Sports and welcome our home and visiting fans to the broadcast. Joe Brett is our executive producer for today's event. Our sponsors keep these events free for fans to enjoy. Please let them know you appreciate their support. Please help Table Rock Sports by subscribing to our YouTube channel. A big Table Rock Sports thank you to those of you who already have. If you haven't, head on over to YouTube, search Table Rock Sports, and click that red subscribe button. So let the Superstore pregame show powered by Siskiyou Cellular in Southern Oregon. It's Glencoe, South Medford. Glencoe coming out of the Pacific Conference. They are 0-1 on the season. They lost their first game 1-0 to Beaverton. For the Panthers, well, this is game number one on the year. A beautiful day for baseball. Glencoe, coached by Andy Ackerman, assisted by Mike Price, Randall Richards, and Jim Ruff Rufner. The Panthers, coached by Josh Moody, assisted by Scott Carl and Eric Lund. As we just mentioned, a beautiful day in Southern Oregon for high school baseball. 73 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. The wind is coming out of, well, it looks like just about the north, pushing a little bit towards the left field foul pole. 325 to the corner out there, and 325 to the right field corner as well. 400 to deep center here at Harry and David Field. On the bump this afternoon for the Panthers, it's Evan Roden, right-handed pitcher, junior. Catching for him this afternoon will be Caleb Long. So Rodin is pitching, Long is catching, playing first base is Tristan Malari, Grady McQuinn is at second, Gannon Jones will be playing third at shortstop, Kyle Cope, in left field, Owen Le Levens in center field, Chance Ryan, and in right field this afternoon for the Panthers, it's Cooper Mitchell. The first pitch of the afternoon is a ball to the leadoff batter for Glencoe, Diego Richards. Second pitch, foul ball into the net. The count now one and one. Breaking ball, catching the inside corner of the plate there for strike number two. The one and two pitch, a fly ball to straightaway center field, and it is caught. By Chance Ryan, and there's one away. Hitting second for Glencoe this afternoon, it's Drew Bastinelli. And 
And the first pitch to Bastinelli is a strike. The second one a little outside, low and away. And a swing and a miss for strike two. Off-speed pitch there. Fought off. By Bastinelli. Count stays one ball and two strikes. A one-two pitch from Roden outside and away for ball two. Breaking ball chopped at and going foul. A 2-2 pitch, a high pop fly will be taken by the second baseman, Grady. McQuillan for the second out. Jake Jones now the batter for the Crimson Tide. And he looks at a first pitch strike from Rodin. The 0 1 fouled off down the right field line. And the 0-2 is a pitch outside, swing and a miss, strike three. And that'll do it for the top half of the first inning. The Panthers go 1-2-3. Roden gets his first strikeout of the afternoon. And now we'll see the Panthers come to bat here in the bottom of the first inning. You're listening to South Medford Panthers Baseball on TibbleRockSports.net. Back right after this. U.S. Cellular for years now. They asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Exclusive deals, like up to $1,200 for any new phone. So I said, if I'm going to be on TV, think I can get hair and makeup? And I even got a manicure, too. Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. <laughs> Visit U.S. Cellular at Siskiyou, Southern Oregon's exclusive authorized agent for U.S. Cellular, now serving Roseburg and Klamath Falls. See SOUSCellular.com for details. Don't It's it's pretty freaking dope, dude. I I love every single day of it. We welcome you back to the Lithia Superstore game of the day here on TibbleRockSports.net. It's Glencoe taking on South Medford. We are in the bottom of the first inning. The Panthers three up, three down in the top half. Now come to the plate. Leading things off for South Medford will be Kyle Cope. Followed by Caleb Long. 
Tristan Malari in the three hole. Hitting cleanup will be Cooper Mitchell. Hitting fifth, Grady McQuillan. Sixth, Evan Roden. Seventh, Gannon Jones. Eighth, Chance Ryan. And hitting ninth, turning over the lineup this afternoon, is Owen Levins. August Ware on the mound for the Crimson Tide. First pitch ball there to Kyle Cope. He evens the count up with the next pitch at one and one. And Cope's going to foul this one over the backstop and into the stands. One ball and two strikes. And a line drive out into center field. The center fielder coming in on it gets over his head. And this is going to be good for a triple. Rounding second and heading into third is Cope with a leadoff stand up triple for the Panthers. So now coming to the plate for South Medford, Caleb Long, and he has himself a runner in scoring position. First pitch outside for ball one. Next one over the plate. Ground ball to the third baseman. Makes the play at first. But the Panthers get on the board. Now leading one to nothing. As Caleb Long does his job. And scores the run from third base. Now coming to the plate for the Panthers is Tristan Malari. And a breaking ball there, coming across the middle of the plate for strike one. Pitch number two fouled off and out of play down the third base. Uh, yeah, third baseline. A 0-2 pitch. And just high for ball one. Where with the 1-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike three. He gets his first strikeout of the afternoon. Now two away for the Panthers, and it brings up the cleanup hitter, Cooper Mitchell. And the first pitch in there for strike one. That's a hard ground ball. Takes a... High hop on the third baseman. Mitchell going to round first and head into second base. And stands up with the double there. So 
So another runner in scoring position for the Panthers here in the first inning. And coming to the plate is Grady McQuillan. McQuillan looks at the first pitch low and inside for ball one. And the second pitch, breaking ball, starting just a little bit inside, breaking just inside and off the plate, makes the count 2-0. and oh. And that one's going to catch the outside corner for strike number one. That one down low in the zone. Makes the count three and a one to McQuillan. Mitchell out at second base. We're now working out of the stretch. The 3-1 pitch inside for ball four. And the Panthers have runners on first and second. The pitcher Roden now on are now up for the Panthers with runners at first and second and two away. The first pitch comes in there for a strike. And the 0-1 swing and a miss. The ball gets away. They're going to say dead ball. Foul ball. The runners will have to go back. So the O two pitch to Rodin. The runners go, and a foul ball. Count stays 0-2. A big gap out there in right center for Roden. And the 0-2 is high and away. The Crimson Tide defense definitely playing the pole ball here from the pitcher Evan Roden. The one two outside and we are even at two and two.
The 2-2. Breaking ball gets him. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The second strikeout of the inning for August Ware. But the Panthers do get one run across. They leave two stranded. As we head to the top of the second inning, it's South Medford 1, Glencoe 0. You're listening to Panther Baseball on TableRockSports.net. Jeep Celebration Event is going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford. We're stocked up on a great selection of new vehicles from Chrysler, Jeep Dodge, and of course, Ram Trucks. Choose from our great inventory of new Jeep Gladiator and Grand Cherokee 4x4 models in stock now. Or test drive a new 24 Ram 1500 4x4. Shop online today with our online process to calculate your own payment, whether it's a lease, finance, or cash payment. Only at the Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford Superstore. Hi, guys. My name is Mason Mahaffey. I'm the Solar Pros Manager of Oregon, and I'm also a teacher and a coach here in the Rogue Valley. Have you looked into solar panels and it didn't make financial sense? I brought Solar Pros here to Oregon to make it more affordable for working class families to put solar on their home. Solar Pros is purposely beating our competitors' prices by thousands of dollars because we are that serious about saving you money. Solar Pros PNW provides the most comfortable, educational, and personal solar experience in Oregon. Visit our Facebook page at Solar Pros PNW to see all of our projects and all the families that we are helping save money. And we welcome you back here at Harry and David Field. Top of the second inning. Glencoe coming to the plate. It's the cleanup hitter, August Ware, the pitcher. Up now for the Crimson Tide. And he hits this one high into the air to right field. And it will be caught for the first out of the inning. Cooper Mitchell making the grab out there and right. First pitch, a ball to the five hitter, Caden Kingsbury. Second one in there, just inside for ball two. Uh, insider information here coming in the booth. Let me know that Evan Roden is a transfer from Ashland High School to South Medford this year on the mound. The 0-2 pitch hit down the right field line. And just foul. So the count now two and two to Kingsbury. And just missing inside there. Account now full, three and two. Fastball down and away, fouled off. Kingsbury staying alive at the plate. Coming up next for the Crimson Tide will be James Camden Rufner as Kingsbury goes down swinging. The second strikeout of the afternoon for Roden. And there's two away. Swing and a miss, strike one. Zero one, high and inside.
Roden working pretty quick out there on the bump this afternoon, not wasting any time. That one in just about the same spot as the last pitch. The count now two balls and one strike. We welcome you back to the Lithia Superstore Game of the Day here on Tibble Rock Sports. Apologies for the quick technical difficulties. The Panthers at bat here in the top half of the second. It is Gannon Jones standing over at second base. Had a leadoff double down the right field line and brings to the plate Chance Ryan for the Panthers. With a chance for an RBI here. The count now two balls and one strike. The 2 1 inside. Ball gets away into the dirt. The throw down to third gets away from the third baseman, and the runner is going to score. Gannon Jones steals third base on the wild pitch, and the throw down to third gets away from the third baseman there, and Jones in for the second run of the ball game for South Medford. They now lead two to nothing. A count now, three balls and one strike to the eight-hole batter, Chance Ryan. A mound visit now from the Glencoe coach. To talk things over with his pitcher and infield. Just settle him down after that little mistake there. Fans, it's time to tune in to the new sports voice in Southern Oregon. The Ace Sports Radio, AM 1300, FM 107.9, featuring the VZN Network, the Rich Eisen Show, live NFL games, and local and regional programming, all now live on the Ace Sports Radio, the new sports voice in Southern Oregon. And Solar Pros and owner Mason Mahaffey invite you to learn how you can save thousands on solar panels installation for your home. Visit Solar Pros Facebook page to learn more. Search Facebook Solar Pros PNW. The 3-1 pitch to Ryan fouled off into the backstop there. The count now 3-2. and two. Three, 2 pitch. Once again fouled off, this time over the top of the backstop and out of play. And the 3 2 is just high. And Chance Ryan will head on down to first base. The 0 1, a foul ball there. At the plate, the nine hole hitter, Owen 
Levens, Levens, Levens. Trying to turn the lineup over here for the Panthers. No outs. And a runner on first base. Throw over to first. Will not be in time. Trying to pick off Ryan. And another foul ball from the Panthers. The 0-2 outside for ball one. And that one outside as well. Two and two now the count. A two two, another foul ball into the backstop. Good at bat here from Owen. Levens. A 2-2. Two -two. Drive down the right field line. Tailing foul and out of play. The runner goes, the 2-2 outside, and the count now full, and the Panthers have another runner in scoring position with no outs here in the bottom of the second inning. And a 3-2 in there for a strike. Levens will go down looking. And there's one away. It's the third strikeout for August Ware. And now back to the top of the order for South Medford. Kyle Cope at the plate. Looks at strike one. And he's going to fly this one into center field. It'll be caught. A runner will stay at second. Now there's two down. Caleb Long. Now coming to the plate for the Panthers. Long, a catcher this afternoon for South Medford. And the 
first pitch in there for ball one. And the next pitch in there for a strike. The count now one and one. For one one pitch to long. And a pickoff move there, but nobody at second base for August Ware. Holds on to the baseball. Chance Ryan getting back safely there over at second base. The 1-1. One, one. Check swing. Strike two. The one, two, hit into right field. Runner will round third. Heading to second is Long as Ryan crosses the plate and makes it three to nothing Panthers here in the bottom of the second inning. Long, the catcher, will get a courtesy runner coming out to run for him will be Keegan Painter. That'll bring to the plate the number three hitter, Tristan Malari. Malari looks at the first pitch on the outside corner for a strike. Swing and a miss there. Count now. No balls and two strikes. The 0-2 to Malari inside for ball one. The one and two. Swing and a miss, foul ball. And the one-two ground ball to the shortstop. And he's going to make the play at first base. And that'll do it for the bottom half of the second inning. The Panthers score two. Leave one runner stranded. And they lead three to nothing over the visiting Glencoe Crimson Tide. We'll head to the top half of the third. You are listening to South Medford Panthers Baseball here on TableRockSports.net. 
Venture start at Pinnacle 365. Accelerate your day with morning motivation. Freshly ground, swiftly brewed from fresh bean to cup in no time at all. And now we're here for your daily dinner adventures. Introducing Crispy Crunchy Chicken online ordering. Mouthwatering Crispy Crunchy Chicken for dinner made deliciously easy. Just open the app or visit the website, select a pickup time, choose from your favorites, and your Crispy Crunchy Chicken will be prepared hot and fresh. Make dinner a breeze at Pinnacle 365. Thanks for the ride. I'll see you after the game. Hey, um... Dear Katie, I've been your number one fan since I watched your first game all those years ago, and I still love watching you play. But I wanted to see you win so badly that my competitive nature got the best of me. I lost track of what's important. I thought I was supporting you, but I was really just embarrassing you. I'm not your coach, and I'm not an official. I forgot my role. I'm your parent and you deserve better. From here on, I promise to keep my emotions under control. I'll cheer for you and all the other players, no matter the score, no matter the outcome. Thank you for sharing with me how I can do a better job of supporting you, your team. We welcome you back to Lolithia Superstore Game of the Day here on TableRockSports.net. It's the top half of the third inning, and the Panthers lead it three to nothing over the visiting Glencoe Crimson Tide. At the plate now for Glencoe, it's the seven hitter Tyler Larison. Glencoe has gone three up, three down in both of their. First and second inning. And Larison is going to get hit by the pitch there. So now coming to the plate for Glencoe is Joseph Owens, the eight hitter for the Crimson Tide. Trying to lay down a bunt there, fouls it off. Showing bunt again and looking at a strike. Throw down to first is high, but good back up there by the Panthers right fielder, Cooper Mitchell. A 1-2 breaking ball in there for a strike. That's strikeout number four for Roden. And it brings to the plate number three, the nine-hole hitter for Glencoe, Matthew Salfeld. Rodin throws over to first base. Checking on the runner over there. Tyler Larison. 
swing and a miss from Saulfeld there. Makes it no balls and two strikes. That one going to miss just outside. The one two pitch foul ball. Road in looking for strikeout number three or five here. This one gets away from him outside. Good stop though by Caleb Long. The count now two and two. Two, two. This one's going to be fouled out of play. And Long going to come out and have a chat with Roden. A 2-2 pitch to Saulfeld. And it's going to be strike three. That's strikeout number five on the afternoon. And there's two away. And back to the top of the order for Glencoe. Diego Richards, the leadoff batter at the plate. And who's going to hit this one? into right field, tailing down the foul line, and it's going to be out of play. Good hustle there from Cooper Mitchell trying to make a play on it with the ball just out of reach. And the count, no balls and one strike. Roden blows that one by Richards, makes the count 0 and 2. Runner goes, throw down to second. Not going to be in time. The 0-2, ground ball to the third baseman. Good play, throw over to first in time, and that'll do it for the top half of the third. The Panthers still leading 3 to nothing. Glencoe will leave one runner stranded, and we'll head to the bottom half of the inning. You're listening to South Medford Panthers Baseball here on TibbleRockSports.net. Diverse venues, we got them. Year-round sports access? You bet. Race cars, soccer, paragliding? Check, check, check. Medford has it covered as your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. Okay, you know how people complain about how Dutch Bros workers are like, too nice, too hyper, compliment you too much, whatever. Maybe you're not nice enough. Maybe you need to get a little Dutch Bros in here.
Discover the West Coast destination for those seeking more. More sunny days, more athletic facilities, more outdoor adventures, more to do during downtime. Medford is your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. We welcome you back to the Lithia Superstore Game of the Day here on Table Rock Sports. It's the bottom half of the third inning. The Panthers leading three to nothing. At the plate, the cleanup hitter, Cooper Mitchell for South Medford, looks at strike number one. Second pitch breaking ball outside. Mitchell looks at that one for strike two. Who the count now two and two. August Ware still on the mound for the Crimson Tide. Throws that one inside to load the count at three and two. The three two pitch going to be a high bouncing ground ball to the second baseman and it's going to be an air on Drew Bastinelli. And now at the plate for South Medford Grady McQuillan. Throw over to first, not in time. Check swing there, strike one. That one well outside. One and one now the count. Nobody out, runner on first here for the Panthers. One one pitch fouled off down the first base line. Ground ball to the shortstop, chance for a double play, and Glencoe will get two there. A routine 6-4-3 double play for the Crimson Tide. Now two outs. And at the plate for the Panthers, Evan Roden, the pitcher.
That one in the dirt. Almost hit Roden. Makes the count two balls and one strike. Another ground ball to the shortstop. Scooped up. Throw over to first. Will be in time at the first baseman. Pulled his foot. Having to come off. It'll be an air on the shortstop. Diego Richards. And wrote in the pitcher. Going to come on out off the base path. Get a courtesy runner. In for him will be Evan Powers. There from Gannon Jones. To no avail, though. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Time. Power is able to get back safely. The 0-1 to Jones. A good breaking ball there. Four strike two, now 0-2. Oh Jones fouls that one off into the Glencoe dugout. I think he was sitting breaking ball on that one and just able to catch up to it and stay alive. And another foul ball. Runner goes, pickoff move to first. Throw on down to second from the first baseman. In time, but the shortstop Richards not able to hold on to the baseball and powers in safely to second base. The 0-2, another foul ball, this time into the backstop from Gannon Jones. The 0-2 inside in the dirt. I think it hit him. And Gannon Jones hit by pitch. We'll head on down to first. And it's going to bring to the plate Chance Ryan, who walked. His last plate appearance. And the oh, first pitch there fouled off into the grandstands. The you know, one high and outside. 
two away. Runners on first and second for the Panthers. 1-1 one, one count here to Chance Ryan. And a beautiful breaking ball there from Austin Ware. Makes the count one and two. The one two down in the dirt. Two, two to Ryan, and it's going to be in there for strike three. Ryan goes down looking. The Panthers leave two runners stranded, and the score is still three to nothing. South Medford will head to the top half of the fourth inning. Panthers with the lead. You're listening to South Medford Baseball on TibbleRockSports.net. Choose a company that best represents you and our local community. Choose a company that focuses on relationships rather than transactions. Choose a company that empowers their employees and provides growth opportunities from within. Choose a company that shows compassion and rises to the occasion in times of need. Call a John L. Scott broker today. Pick it up. Let's go. Come on. Defense. Defense. What am I teaching you at home? Has this kid played before? Shoot it. Oh. Ah. Come on, ref. Open your eyes. Can't you see out there? So, which one's your kid? The referee. You can be a parent, athlete, coach, or an official. But you can only be one. Know your role. We welcome you back. Let the Superstore game of the day. Top half of the fourth inning. Leadoff batter here for Glencoe is Drew Bastinelli. And he will be out at first base on the ground ball. To who is Kyle Cope. And a quick first out for the Crimson Tide. At the plate now for Glencoe, it's Jake Jones. Swing and a miss there makes it one ball and two strikes. Some action down in the Glencoe bullpen. Another ground ball to the shortstop, Cope. Throw on over to first in time, and there's two away. So I wonder if we're going to see Austin Ware come back out for the top of the, or excuse me, the bottom of the fourth inning or not. Where the pitcher now at the plate for Glencoe and a beautiful breaking ball there from Roden. The next pitch, a high fly ball to right field coming in and Panthers baseball on TibbleRockSports.net. It's game day for a family get together. Sherms has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherms Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount grocery store.
Your game day adventures start at Pinnacle 365. Kick off your day with some morning motivation. Then add some crunch to your game day with mouthwatering crispy crunchy chicken featuring the chicken crunch box, tenders crunch box, and introducing a contender for best chicken sandwich in the West, the big cluck. But wait, here's the real MVP move. Download and use the Peak Rewards app and save big on fuel every day for a family get together. Sherms has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherms Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount. Welcome back here on Table Rock Sports, the Lithia Superstore game of the day. The Panthers lead 3 to nothing, and they come to the plate here in the bottom half of the fourth inning. Leading things off will be Owen Levens for South Medford, followed by Cooper Mitchell. Excuse me, Levens and then Kyle Cope. As Levens is hit with the first pitch. By Ware, still in the ball game. And still work going on down there in the Glencoe bullpen. I'm sure Ware doesn't have a whole lot of time left there on the mound. As the Panthers have the top of the order coming to the plate. Swing and a miss from Kyle Cope. The ball gets by the catcher, Keegan, or excuse me, Caden Kingsbury. Kingsbury, a freshman catcher for Glencoe. And the count, 0-1. The 1 right down the pipe for strike two. The 0-2 to Cope. Swing and a foul ball out of play down the first baseline. And another foul ball there from Cope. That count still 0-2. And a hard hit ball goes off of the pitcher's ankle into the outfield. It'll be a base hit for Cope. He's now three for three on the afternoon with a single, a double, and a triple. Am I correct? No? My apologies, his second at bat was a fly out to the center fielder. So he's now two for three with a triple and a single. 
one co-coaching staff will come out and take a look at where as the run scores for the Panthers and where is going to come out of the ball game his day is done and it'll be Connor Anderson coming in to replace him we'll give him a few moments to throw some warm-up pitches and we'll be right back you're listening to Panther Baseball on TableRockSports.net. I ride the bus a lot. RVTD's UMO app with fare capping means I will never pay more than the daily or monthly cap. RVTD gets me to school, work, volunteering, shopping, and even coffee for a fixed amount each month. UMO gives me one less thing to worry about. Thanks, RVTD. Bill's Glass covers the full spectrum of your glass needs and dreams. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically update and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year-round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass, the largest glass company in Southern Oregon for your home and auto, as well as the trusted industry leader for over 50 years. Locally owned, family run, Bill's Glass in Ashland, Medford, and Grants Pass. Folks, before or after the game is a great time to visit Dutch Bros and enjoy your favorite beverage. Table Rock Sports would like to thank Dutch Bros for their sponsorship during this spring sports season. As we're going to have a balk by the new pitcher, Connor Anderson, who just came into the ball game. And the runner will now advance to second base. Kyle Cope over there at second for South Medford as they lead four to nothing. That ball in the dirt all the way to the backstop. So now the runner are at third base. And the count one ball and no strikes. Caleb Long, the catcher, the batter right now, drives this ball into left field. It gets down. It's going to be a double for Long. The Panthers score another. They now lead five to nothing.
Heavy hitter. First pitch in there. High to Malari for ball one. This one driven into right or in the center field, caught. The runner will tag up and head to third base in there safely. Malari flies out but can advance the runner there. One out here in the bottom of the fourth. And at the plate will be Cooper Mitchell. First pitch outside to Mitchell. Now one and one. A one one to Mitchell. Swing and a miss, strike two. And a hit down the right field line just foul for Mitchell. Count will stay one and two. Austin Ware, who started the ball game for Glencoe, finishes the day with four earned runs and four strikeouts. That pitch just misses. Now two and two. And that one catching the outside corner for strike three. Mitchell goes down looking. And now coming to the plate will be Grady McQuillan. So now two away for the Panthers here in the bottom of the fourth. Ground ball to the third baseman, scoops it up, throw on over to first in time. And that'll do it. The Panthers score two more. They leave one runner stranded. And they lead by a score of five to nothing over the Glencoe Crimson Tide. You're listening to Panther Baseball back right after this. It's game day for a family get together. Sherm's has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherm's Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount grocery store. You want diverse venues? We got them. Year-round sports access? You bet. Race cars, soccer, paragliding? Check, check. 
check. Medford has it covered as your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. Adventures start at Pinnacle 365. Accelerate your day with morning motivation. Freshly ground, swiftly brewed from fresh bean to cup in no time at all. And now, we're here for your daily dinner adventures. Introducing Crispy Crunchy Chicken Online Ordering. Mouthwatering Crispy Crunchy Chicken for dinner. Made deliciously easy. Just open the app or visit the website. Select a pickup time. Choose from your favorites. And your Crispy Crunchy Chicken will be prepared hot and fresh. Make dinner a breeze at Pinnacle 365. Welcome back, Lithia Superstore game of the day here on Tibor Rock Sports. It's the top half of the fifth inning. South Medford out in front, five to nothing over the Crimson Tide. And still on the mound for the Panthers is Evan Roden. First pitch here, ground ball up the middle. Second baseman does a good job of laying out and keeping the ball in front of him. It will be credited as a base hit for Caden Kingsbury. Now at the plate will be Rufiner. And he looks at strike one. And he's going to get hit by the pitch. Glenco with two quick runners on base at first and second. The second hit batter of the afternoon for Roden. Larison now the batter, excuse me, Connor Anderson now the batter for Glencoe. So it looks like he replaces Larison. O2 to him. As Rodin will look back to runner at second base. The 0-2 pitch still showing bunt. Gets it down. Throw on over to first is in time. Both runners will advance. And there's one away. The batter now for Glencoe will be Joseph Owens, and we're going to have a mound visit for the Panthers. 
Today's game brought to you by Top Rock Northwest Bar and Grill in Grants Pass, Elmer's Restaurants of Medford, and the Southern Oregon Sports Commission's Know Your Role campaign promoting respectful behavior at youth sporting events. And Spring Sports Action is brought to you by our title sponsor, Lithia Superstore Jeep Dodge Chrysler. And our presenting sponsor, Siskiyou Cellular of Southern Oregon, now with nine locations in Southern Oregon to serve you. Roden stays on the mound for the Panthers, facing Joseph Owens with runners on second and third, one away here in the top of the fifth. First pitch in there for strike. That one as well. The count now 0 and 2. Wrote in quickly ahead in the count. The 0 2 fouled off and out of play. And the 0 2 in there for strike three. And now two away. A big out there for Roden. And it brings to the plate. Number three, Matthew Salfeld. Swing and a miss. Makes the count one and one. And another swing and miss makes it one ball, two strikes. And blows another one by Salfeld. And that'll do it for the top of the fifth. Glencoe leaves two stranded at second and third. And we'll head to the bottom half of the fifth inning. Panthers leading five to nothing. Listening to South Medford Baseball on TableRockSports.net. Jeep Celebration Event is going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford. We're stocked up on a great selection of new vehicles from Chrysler, Jeep Dodge, and of course, Ram Trucks. Choose from our great inventory of new Jeep Gladiator and Grand Cherokee 4x4 models in stock now. Or test drive a new 24 Ram 1500 4x4. Shop online today with our online process to calculate your own payment, whether it's a lease, finance, or cash payment. Only at the Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford Superstore. You're your game day adventure starts at Pinnacle 365. Kick off your day with some morning motivation. Then add some crunch to your game day with mouth-watering crispy crunchy chicken party meals. Featuring bone-in, tenders, and wings. Make sure you remember the biscuits. You're sure to be the hit of the party when you show up with the crispy crunchy chicken party meal. Plus, with our Peak Rewards app, you can be earning savings on fuel for your next fill-up. Enjoy your game day adventures more at Pinnacle 365.
Welcome back, Lithia Superstore Game of the Day here on Table Rock Sports. On the mound for Glencoe, coming in last inning is Connor Anderson. He will face pitcher Evan Roden as the leadoff batter here in the top of the fifth for South Medford. First pitch outside for ball one. And the next one, a line drive out in the left field. Caught. And there's one away. Matt Saulfeld making the grab out there for the Crimson Tide. And it'll bring to the plate Gannon Jones. Swing and a miss there from Jones, one and one. Outside for ball two. Action down in the South Medford bullpen. See if Roden has one more inning in him. This will be a fly ball down the right field line. Tailing and foul. 2-2 two -two now the count. The 2-2 hit out into right field. Coming in on it is the right fielder making the grab. Owens out there in right field. And we got two out. Chance Ryan now at the plate. Pop up here to the second baseman. First baseman going to call for it and making the grab. And that'll do it for the bottom half of the fifth inning. We'll head to the top of the sixth. It's South Bedford 5, Glencoe 0. And it appears Roden's day is done. A new pitcher coming in for... South Medford as the shade starts to cover home plate there. Going to make it a little more difficult on the batters. Coming in to pitch will be sophomore Jake Lewis. 
We're going to step away for a moment back with more Panther baseball right after this. Adventures start at Pinnacle 365. Accelerate your day with morning motivation. Freshly ground, swiftly brewed from fresh bean to cup in no time at all. And now we're here for your daily dinner adventures. Introducing Crispy Crunchy Chicken online ordering. Mouthwatering Crispy Crunchy Chicken for dinner made deliciously easy. Just open the app or visit the website, select a pickup time, choose from your favorites, and your Crispy Crunchy Chicken will be prepared hot and fresh. Make dinner a breeze at Pinnacle 365. Back here in the top of the sixth inning, new pitcher on the mound for the Panthers, it's Jake Lewis. He's facing Diego Richards, the shortstop for Glencoe. And a quick first out. Ground ball to the shortstop there. Throw on over to first well in time. And now coming to the plate will be... Drew Bastinelli. And the first pitch in there to Bastinelli is a strike. And two quick outs for the Panthers. Bastinelli with the ground ball there. Kyle Cope with back-to-back -back plays for the Panthers. Jake Jones now at the plate. Shows Bunt. Excuse me. It is Brody Baird now hitting in place of Jones. A 1-1 pitch gets over the head of the third baseman there, but drops foul. And it'll be one ball and two strikes to Brody Baird. The one-two pitch, and I think that hit him. It did. Baird will head on down to first base. And it'll bring to the plate 
the starting pitcher on the day, August Ware. Throw over to first, not quite in time. And we're going to have a high pop fly taken out of play by the first baseman. That's Tristan Malari making the play for the Panthers. And we're going to head to the bottom of the sixth inning. South Medford still out in front, 5 nothing. Glencoe leaves one runner stranded. You're listening to Panther Baseball on TableRockSports.net. Jeep celebration event is going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford. We're stocked up on a great selection of new vehicles from Chrysler, Jeep Dodge, and of course, Ram trucks. Choose from our great inventory of new Jeep Gladiator and Grand Cherokee 4x4 models in stock now. Or test drive a new 24 Ram 1500 4x4. Shop online today with our online process to calculate your own payment, whether it's a lease, finance, or cash payment. Only at the Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford Superstore. You're your game day adventure starts at Pinnacle 365. Kick off your day with some morning motivation. Then add some crunch to your game day with mouth-watering crispy crunchy chicken party meals. Featuring bone-in, tenders, and wings. Make sure you remember the biscuits. You're sure to be the hit of the party when you show up with the crispy crunchy chicken party meal. Plus, with our Peak Rewards app, you can be earning savings on fuel for your next fill-up. Enjoy your game day adventures more at Pinnacle 365. Welcome back, bottom of the sixth inning. The Panthers at the plate. Connor Anderson on the mound for Glencoe. Throws that one in the dirt for ball one. To Owen Levins. That one's going to be high for ball two. Levens, the nine-hole hitter for the Panthers. Top of the order coming up for South Medford. And it's going to be 3-0. and out. And he's able to get that one across for a strike. 3 1 now the count. And this one popped up into right center. Center fielder coming over and making the grab. And there is one away. Top of the order now for the Panthers. Kyle Cope coming to the plate. And Anderson going to step off. As Cope comes back into the batter's box. Hard hit ball down the third baseline. Just foul for Cope. A Panthers scored one run in the first 
two in the second, nothing in the third, two in the fourth inning, nothing last inning, and they lead five to nothing. As Cope looks at that one for strike two. Oh, and two now to the leadoff batter, Kyle Cope. The 0 2 pitch, hard hit ball to the third baseman. He makes the play, throw over to first, not in time, and it's going to be a base hit for Cope. His third of the afternoon. He now has a triple and two singles on the afternoon. Caleb Long now at the plate for South Medford. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Throw on down to first. Not in time. Long pops this one up and out of play. Hit and run was on. Cope was taken off to second. And the count now 0 and 2. Low two outside. Throw down the first again. Cope back in time. Runner goes. High pop fly. Second baseman going to make the grab. Throw on over to first in time as Pope was taken off running. And that's going to do it for the bottom half of the sixth inning. The Panthers will leave a runner stranded. And we'll head to the seventh and final evening of the after inning of the afternoon. Glencoe coming to the plate with one last chance. They need five to tie, six to take the lead. And it will be... Jake Lewis staying on the mound for the Panthers to close things out. Back with the top of the seventh right after this. You're listening to South Medford Panthers Baseball on Table Rock Sports. Game day adventure starts at Pinnacle 365. Kick off your day with some morning motivation. Then add some crunch to your game day with mouth-watering crispy crunchy chicken party meals. Featuring bone-in, tenders, and wings. Make sure you remember the biscuits. You're sure to be the hit of the party when you show up with the crispy crunchy chicken party meal. Plus, with our Peak Rewards app, you can be earning savings on fuel for your next fill up. Enjoy your game day adventures more at Pinnacle 365. The President's Day sales event is going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford. We're stocked up on a great selection of new vehicles from Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and of course Ram trucks. Choose from our great inventory of new 23 Jeep Gladiator and new 24 Grand Cherokee 4x4 models. Grand Cherokee is the most awarded SUV ever. Shop online today with our online process to calculate your own payment, whether it's a lease, finance, or cash payment. Only at the Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford Superstore.
Welcome back. Lithia Superstore game of the night. Top of the seventh inning here at Harry and David Field. On the mound for the Panthers is Jake Lewis looking to close out the ball game. Glencoe needs five. Their first batter driving one out into right field. But it will be caught. Kingsbury flying out for Glencoe. And there's one quick out. Panthers now needing two more to get their opening game victory here in the 2024 season. Swing and a miss here from Rufner. The 0 1 just outside with the breaking ball. Count now 1 and 1. The 1 1 high in the air. It'll be taken by the second baseman, and we have two away. Connor Anderson now at bat for Glencoe. He came in to replace Tyler Larrison. Or excuse me, that is 19. James Kingsbury now at the plate. And he looks at a strike there. 0-2 now the count. Jake Lewis, one strike now away from picking up the save. No save, no save. Oh, no. Did he come in in the fifth? Yeah, it's the uh, three innings. He, he came in the sixth. In the sixth? Yeah. Throw over to first, not going to be in time. And time is called. Renko coach coming to have a word with the umpire behind the plate for just a moment. Folks, tonight's action is brought to you by the Rogue Valley Transportation District. Need help learning the routes and options available to you? Well, RVTD can help with that. Visit rvtd.org to learn more. Throw over to first. Nothing happening over there. Just keeping the runner in check. A o o pitch makes it o one. And that one in there for a strike as well. And a swing and a miss. That'll do it. Three 
The Panthers will come away with the victory. A final score of five to nothing. The Southern Oregon Sports Commission's Know Your Roll postgame show going to come up in just a moment. Visit TravelMedford.org and search Know Your Roll to see how this campaign is changing the culture of youth sports for the better. Going to recap some scoring and look at some key stats. All coming up on the Southern Oregon Sports Commission's Know Your Roll postgame show where we make sports fun again. It takes meticulous planning. Continuous monitoring. And forward thinking to deliver the perfect three-egg omelet. Enjoy the patio weather and a brand new menu at Tap Rock Northwest Grill, where friends and family gather and memories are made. Come visit us today or visit our website. Diverse venues? We got them. Year-round sports access? You bet. Race cars, soccer, paragliding? Check, check, check. Medford has it covered as your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. Okay, you know how people complain about how Dutch Bros workers are like, too nice, too hyper, compliment you too much, whatever. Maybe you're not nice enough. Maybe you need to get a little Dutch Bros in here. Discover the West Coast destination for those seeking more. More sunny days, more athletic facilities, more outdoor adventures, more to do during downtime. Medford is your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. And we welcome you back. It's the Southern Oregon Sports Commission's Know Your Role postgame show here on Table Rock Sports. The South Medford Panthers take their opening day victory 5 to nothing over the visiting Clemson, uh, Glencoe Crimson Tide. Starting pitcher for Glencoe this afternoon was August Ware. He had four strikeouts on the afternoon, gave up four earned runs. Coming in to replace him was Connor Anderson. He had one strikeout on the day, gave up one earned run. For the Panthers, it was the transfer from Ashland, Evan Roden, on the bump. He had a terrific outing for the Panthers. Seven strikeouts through five innings of work. Gave up zero earned runs. And replacing him coming in in the sixth was Jake Lewis. Had himself a strikeout and a couple of quick innings of work. And the Panthers take this game five to nothing. Kyle Cope, leadoff batter for the Panthers this afternoon. Three for four, a triple and two singles. Jake Lewis with a couple of hits, two doubles for him. Chance Ryan got in there, had himself a double. 
Cooper Mitchell with a double and a hit by pitch on the afternoon. And the Panthers are now 1 and 0 on the season. Glencoe will fall to 0 and 2. They've now lost to Beaverton 1 to nothing and South Medford 5 to nothing. And that'll do it for this afternoon's broadcast. We'd like to thank you for watching today's broadcast. We'd like to thank South Medford High School Athletic Director James Joy for hosting the Lithia Superstar Game of the Night on Table Rock Sports and today's broadcast. Special thanks to head coaches Andy Ackerman of Glencoe and Josh Moody of South Medford. Again, the final score on the John L. Scott scoreboard, South Medford 5, Glencoe 0. This has been a special presentation of Table Rock Sports. Our executive producer is Joe Brett. With Colton Treadway on camera for me this afternoon, I'm Joseph Brett saying thanks for watching and good night from Harry and David Field here in Medford, Oregon.